conditioning of those forearms is the key. Okay. Ready? Take the strain. Well, the relative youngster at 22 years of age in this group is now taking on 353 pounds in each hand. There's the time to beat, 32.65 seconds, put up by American Don Pope. And I gotta say right now, Tordachev looks very, very comfortable. He looks super tired. There's not a muscle twitching in his body. He's relaxed. So the rookie to the world's strongest man right now is fast approaching the time to beat. Can the man from Bulgaria do it? The answer is absolutely. Your new leader, Stoyan Toidachev of Bulgaria here in the Hercules hole. There's the power in the brachialis, the round part of the forearm. His are huge. And unexpectedly, he lets it go. So Tordachev becomes the new leader, stops the clock, 42.25 seconds. God, it looks like he's bending his fingers back. Maybe his forearms are cramping up. Something bad in his wrist is giving him cause for concern. Well, Tordachev may have paid a heavy price to be the current leader. Talk about putting your head down and displaying the determination to overcome waves of pain. That's just what Stoyan did with his deep mental concentration and desire to hold on to the current lead. Tordachev feeling Hercules' wrath right now as he gets checked out by our doctors. Looks like he has a left forearm strain, and we'll see if this slows him down at all. Well, no signs of slowing down for the 42-year-old from Minnesota. This is Carl Gillingham. Now, remember, the time to beat put up by Stoyan Tordachev of Bulgaria, 42.25 seconds. And we remind you, that's 353 pounds in each hand. Carl's brother, Wade, is a grip specialist. They train together, and they both have a world-class grip. He's just got to settle down and hold on. Gillingham's showing good form right now, Kaz, but he is starting to shake already. He's just coming up on 25 seconds. One of the best grips in the world, but maybe negatively affected by the anvils and barrel loading. Can he get to 42? Gillingham really starting to shake now, and the grip goes first on the left, and he lets go at 37.58 seconds, good enough to put him into second place. And a savvy veteran, Carl Gillingham, trying to figure out how many points he's gonna get. He's been in this game long enough to know, points count. Tordachev gets all five of them, Gillingham gets second, Pope in third, Sebastian Venta fourth, and Mark Westaby rounding out the five. As we take a look at our overall standings after two events, the United States' Don Pope holds the slimmest of leads. He's followed by Tordachev and a three-way tie for third in group number two. Remember, only the top two move on to the final. A true test of total body strength and a unique way of measuring it. It's the squat lift when the 2007 Metrics World's Strongest Man returns.